school lessons and our amen amen and our revival band and our ypww we're dealing in ypww so some important issues and then on friday nights we're dealing with prayer amen and i like this past friday's lesson as we was teaching because a lot of people are praying, but they don't know how to pray effective. And that's what you want. You want to pray. Nobody in their right mind that's saved want to pray in God, not answer the prayer. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're grateful for God for watching over us. Father, we thank you for your mercy, your goodness, and your grace given us. Lead us and guide us and direct us. Stir the hearts of your people. Encourage the discouraged. And God, open up the spirit man help us to open our hearts to receive this engrafted word with meekness your will for us is that we be strong in you and in the power of your might which is your word and that we should stand at the gate and answer the enemy before he gets into the camp we bless and praise your name that you are our God and there is no God beside you and we acknowledge you in this way and we thank you for keeping us in this precious way. It's in Jesus' precious and glorious name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Ephesians 2. We, we can't get away from this battle. We cannot get away from this, I heard Dr. Brown say, struggle. Amen. I want us to understand something here this morning. That God is real the devil is real because God created him and that we have an enemy, a chief enemy. And his job, and he does have a job, a job description, is to stop you and me from getting where he was. Show enough. Amen. He is hateful. He does not like us. Even though he pretends by offering us stuff that seems to be okay. He is a deceiver. He is the author and the father of lies according to John 8 and 44. Amen. Pads and pencils, stay with me this morning. Because it is extremely critical the closer we get to the return of Jesus Christ, the activities of the enemy will increase. Why? Because he knows he only got a short time to do what he going to do. And like most hateful folks, like the suicide bomber, they'll kill themselves and try to destroy as many people as they can. Amen. That's that mindset. I want to inflict pain and suffering. And that, that spirit is what's driving those that go in to crowds, strapped with bombs and, and blow themselves up, and they call it collateral damage. That is a spirit. Church folks are some of the most, excuse me, religious folks are some of the most Dangerous folks walking on this God's green earth right now. Religious folks. Hallelujah. Islam is a religion. I got news for you. Christianity is a religion. You can't go to heaven being a Christian. You got to be a saint. Now, the Bible declares in Acts that they call them Christians. They call them Christians. God didn't call them Christians. They call them Christians. But the New Testament, the epistles, the apostles always address God's people as the saints. Remember that. Because in these days and times, God's people got an identity crisis. And just like the Israel of old, we have... Taking on the mindset of our surroundings. People influence us through politics and religion. People influence us. 
But except you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you won't know the difference between God and those that pretending to know God. So now, in Ephesians 2, we are the most privileged beings that ever existed. So now, in the time when the Lord Jesus Christ came in John chapter 3, a man came to him by night and he questioned Jesus Christ. But his confession was, we know you are sent from God because no man can do what you're doing except God be with him. Okay, if you know God sent him, why ain't you with him? But he was running interference. Huh? Huh? He was running interference for others and himself because they could not refute the power of this. They thought he was a mere man. But he never has been just a mere man. He's more than a man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But Jesus told that man, you must be born again. You must. If you plan on making it in heaven, you must be born again. And then when he confronted his buddies in the Sanhedrin, he told them in John chapter 6, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. And then in John chapter 8, he said, you'll seek for me and not find me and you'll die in your sin. In other words, you'll look for the Messiah and he's looking and talking at you right now. Hallelujah. And you'll die in your sin. In John the fifth chapter, Jesus said, praise God, I came in my father's name and you wouldn't receive me, but another is going to come in his own name and him you'll receive as your Messiah. How did they equate who the Messiah was, would be, because he would come with power. Notice, he would come with power and he would be influential. In other words, extremely persuasive. I, I, I equate it to this new terminology for what they call the Holy Ghost, charismatic, you see. Y'all ain't got to take it. I'm going to, I'm gonna, amen. I ain't going to get him off me this morning. He's going to stay on me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A charismatic spirit is what Isaiah 30 and 10 calls a smooth talking. Don't speak unto me right things. Speak unto me smooth things, you see. Put this down in your Bible next to this Second chapter, one word, L-U-S-T. A four-letter word that is extremely dangerous. It's 100% fatal. Now, where were you when Jesus found you? Were you already in the church house? All it, I say the church house now. Were you already in the church house? Some of us can raise our hand, but we wasn't no bit, bit more saved, amen, than this podium here. Where were we when Jesus came to save us? Well, number one, you was in the right place at the right time, and then your heart was ready. Because if your heart wasn't ready, you never would have got saved. But notice what the Holy Ghost put down in our Bible in Ephesians 2 and 1 and you have he made a lie who were read with me now read with me and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins which in time passing what what time Time passed, ye walked according to the course of this world. Underline now those four words, course of this world. 
according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. What does that mean? That means that everything on this earth, everybody on this earth that's not saved, that's going, that's caught up in some. This is the one leading them. This is the one guiding them. And this is the course that they're on. And every course has an end. You got a start line and a finishing line. That's what he gave. He wouldn't leave me alone. And I said, dear God, Lord, I already preached from that. You preached this right here. I said, okay. Amen. And I don't argue with God like some of us. We so in there with God. Well, God, I don't want to. Amen. I learned just keep my mouth shut and obey God. And that's what I'm going to talk about this morning, the course of this word. Let's read on. Among whom we all had our conversation or our lifestyle in times past, in the what? Lust of our flesh, doing what? Because that thing is in our flesh. Notice, no man can please God in the flesh. Because the flesh, Paul said in me, that is in my flesh, dwells no good thing. Now the man is saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, being led by the Spirit, but if you read Romans chapter 7, he said, when I would to do good, evil is present. Wow! In my flesh. And then he talks about the motions of sin working in my members. You'll be being saved by it. The motions of sin working in my members. And he said, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and the mind and were by nature the children of wrath, even as a, the children that's got God's wrath on them, even as others. But the next two words in there, boy, that get me. That get me. Brothers and sisters, when we met Jesus Christ on his terms, <laughs> I'm telling you, something wonderful happened. Something supernatural happened that only he could Bring to pass. Why? Because when we come over on his side, my Bible says, I pass from darkness into light. Paul the apostle, when he stood before Agrippa and Festus, he gave his testimony of what Jesus Christ told him would be his job description. Now I'm sending you back to them Gentiles. To bring them from, turn them from, to turn them from darkness unto light. From the power of Satan to the power of God. What happened to us when we got saved, we got born out of the sin business over into God's kingdom. You mean say mine? And God bless his name. Now you didn't come here out of nowhere. You were born in a family. Amen. You had a mama and a daddy. And don't you let nobody fool you. Ain't no two men going to have no baby. Ain't no two women going to have no baby. Come on now. And they done got so perverted now until they'll take, a parent will take that daughter's, that, that man's sperm and put it in the mama, let the mama have children for that girl, that girl that can't have no children. Why well, bless his name? Brother, we get more low down and more wicked. We're trying to play God. You'll be saying that. Dr. Brown, they call themselves trying to clone animals. And the clone animal die. And we want folks to volunteer so we can experiment on them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say this. They're monitoring the airways now. Trying to find anybody to speak against the government. The enemy is working. So some of you, I'm going to hit you where you live at this morning because we as a people have been seduced. I'm talking about black folks through the media. I heard a pastor talk about 
this beautiful black woman on Scandal. Well, I don't watch Scandal. I ain't never watched Scandal, the, the movies or the show. And saints ain't got no business watching that mess. Why? Because whatever you feed to mine becomes a part of you. And you never want this. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The man's eyes is never satisfied. What you see, you want. You may not go after because your conscience bothers you, but you'll go. In the spirit, but not in the flesh. And the demon contaminates your spirit. Black folks are being targeted. And they really up their game when they put Channel 12, that thing about bounce. Now they got some, I've seen them advertise about saints and sinners. They're doing something, they're doing whatever they can to discredit God. Hallelujah. Y'all only got to take it. Hallelujah. I was at work, amen. God brought that cross by my mouth. I said, dear God. I mean, pray God, this devil has got more bold now. And pray God, we so hungry now. The church folks are so hungry for entertainment. Until all of the entertainment in the church folks, the, the church folks bring it in the church, ain't good enough. Why bless his name? The cost of this world is heading with breakneck speed. We on a collision with God. Sure enough. And every excuse a man will put up before God will not suffice. No, sir. I cannot lend my mind to the enemy. And he don't contaminate me. Influence me. Sure enough. Hallelujah. My Bible says in Proverbs, no man can take fire in his bosom and not be burnt. Sure enough. Hallelujah. He quickened me. He made me alive. Before I got saved, I was a tool in the devil's hand to will as he would. Praise God. Listen, brothers and sisters. Amen. I ain't never like no bully. I used to be a bully, and I got my butt whooped. And so I learned, praise God, it's better to get along with folks. But when I came over here, I became a thug for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to earnestly contend for the faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it don't make no difference to who's off in the church house. Yeah. Preach, appeal, member, bishop, whatever do is, whatever you claim to be, if you're not living by this Bible, you on your way to the pit in first class. Come on here. It don't make no difference if you high up on the ladder or right down on the totem pole, praise God. God requires a life after we get saved. And that's the purpose of filling with the Holy Ghost, Brother Willie. We can't live this life on our own. And that's what's going on now. You got folks, fought the, they fought the Holy Ghost for years. Certain persuasions. And then, pray God, some of them got, they may snuck off and do the meeting where the saints was. And God feel them and let them know that this thing is real. You may be saying that. But they wouldn't come out of what they was in. They just brought him over there. Well, either, either way it go. However he got over there, thank God he's there. Because some of them getting filled. But the flaw is when God comes in, you got to lay whatever you got going on down. And they won't lay it down. But now the, those that are not Preaching and living holy have brought in a new wave of holiness. Well, you can dress like you want to. God ain't concerned about how you look. God concerned about what's on the inside. Wake up, fool! Whatever's on the inside gonna show up on the outside. Why well, bless his name? Thank you, Lord! How do you know a hoe is a hoe? How do you know a gambler is a gambler? Because he, whatever's on the inside gonna show up on the outside. Well, bless his name, and if you ain't no hope, take the sign down. Thank you, Lord. Well, bless his name. The place that God ordained to meet his people is the place of holiness, sanctification. 1 Corinthians 3.15, the Bible declares, a man that prays God, you are holy, and the temple of God is holy, and any man that defiles this temple, God will destroy. 
fornication will defile a temple. Adultery will defile. Why bless his name? Smoking, drinking, even a rod's got sense to come out of the house that's smoking. Come on here. And praise God, amen, praise God. You want to cram all this junk down on the Holy Ghost? Listen, brothers, he'll get up and leave. If I come to your house, brother Willie, and I don't feel comfortable, you think I'm going to stay there? Do you really think I'm going to come back? Now, the sin on the death is when he get up, when you do despite to the spirit, he get up and leave, brother. You on your own. And you're dead while you're living. All you waiting on somebody to throw dirt in your face. Hallelujah. He said we've been quickened, all right? Let me show you something here because this course only leads one way, and that's destruction. In John the 10th chapter, the ninth verse, Jesus said, the thief comes not but for to kill and to steal and to destroy. He peeped his game and he tipped us off. So anything he offers you is ultimately going to destroy you. How does he come? I want James 1 and 13. He's called the tempter. James chapter 1 and verse 13. Let no man read. Let no man Let say. Let no man say. When he is tempted. That when he, when, not if he's tempted, Dr. Brown. Not if he's tempted. When? And you know yourself. Dear God. Lust is having this heyday right now. Amen now. I want 2 Peter chapter 1. Stay where you at, son. I want 2 Peter 1 and 3. The Bible declares according unto his divine power. 2 Peter 1 and verse 3. Read. According as his divine power. According as his divine power. Read. Has given unto us he has given unto us all things that pertain unto, that to pertain to us over here living on this side here. And godliness. Ain't that the way it read? Yes. Read it. Through the knowledge of through what? him. Through the knowledge. Through, the, through what church? Knowledge. Of who? Jesus. All right. Read. That had called us to glory and virtue. Read. He called us to what? Glory and virtue. To live loose. No. To live large. No. Virtue means power. Clean power. God's power. When the woman touched the hem of his garment, he said, I felt virtue. I felt do them over. Power come out of me. Brother, when that woman got, got that touch from that divine power, everything that was wrong in her got right. You may be sad. And Jesus said, pray God, thy faith has made thee whole. You may be sad. Read. For whereby, whereby are, are given unto us. us. Exceedingly. Oh, given unto who? Us. Read. Exceeding great Exceeding and precious promises. Great and precious promises. That by, by these, these promises, these exceeding great and precious promises, we are become partakers, partakers of the divine nature. That's the Holy Ghost. Heavenly. Hold it. The Holy Ghost is the very nature of God. That's why he is God. Jesus said, I'm going to send you another comforter. I'm going to send the nature of God in you. All you got to do is wait and get it. Amen. Read. Having escaped the corruption. Hold it. Hey, underline this in your Bible. Having escaped the corruption, the corruption that is in the world. Wait a minute. Where's the corruption? In the world. And how is it in him? Through lust. Through lust. Read. And beside this, Giving Hold it diligence. right there. Come on, son. James 1 and 13. Read. Let no man say when Let he is no tempted. Let no man say when he is tempted. I am tempted of God. I am tempted of God. Why? For God cannot be tempted with when evil. He, and neither. Tempted he any man. Neither will he tempt any man with evil. Read. 14. But every man is tempted. But what man? Every man. Now, if you don't know you're a man or a woman, you need to go and come again. Because he's talking about the human species. He ain't talking about dogs or cats or horses. He's talking about us. Read. But every man is tempted. Every man is tempted. When he is drawn away of his own lust. Now whose lust is he drawn away of? Whose lust? 
So will you agree with me that that is extremely deadly? Amen. Detrimental? Why? Because the lust don't never show you what's on the tail end of it. Amen. Ah, thank you, Lord. Amen. But Romans 6 and 23, the Holy Ghost through Paul tipped us off on what's on the end of that. Read, son. And enticed. He's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Hold it, everybody looking at me. Jesus Christ, when he got up, he rendered that dog helpless when it comes to him using some kind of supernatural power to influence you. And hold it. And he can't overrun you. He stripped that from him too. He took that from him. Sure enough. And he secretly called him the anointed child, but he ain't anointed no more. Sure enough. Amen. All he is is a devil. And praise God, God don't like devils and I don't either. Amen. Hallelujah. Notice, he has no power to compel you to do anything. He got to seduce you. Huh? First Timothy 4 and 1, dealing with us church folks. Huh? The Spirit speaks as expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. And I know we there. Well, he said, because he said, forbidden to marry. Amen. Let's try one another out. And after a few years, we'll get married if we're compatible. No, sir. This ain't, amen, pray God, the market where you go feel it to me. No, don't put your hand on nothing unless you're going to buy it. Amen. A man afraid of commitment. Now, I'm going to show you what's really going on in the heart of God's people. Amen. And then there's a category. There's one category that God puts us in where we get our needs met. And it's called surrender. When you love Jesus Christ more than you love anything else, then it don't make no difference what Satan send your way to try to tempt you. Sure enough, your love for God, your love for Jesus Christ will empower you, amen, pray God, to stand. You'll be saved by your love for Jesus Christ. If you love me, do what? Amen. Keep my commandment. You keep my word. He that heals my word, in John 14, he that heals my word and keeps my word, that's the one that loved me. Amen. And if, since you love me, you love to my father. And we will come unto you and make our... Yeah. Amen. Where do I find God? Well, he lives off in here. Amen. He, amen. He don't stop by every night again. Uh, he lives off in hell. You be saved. He lives here. That's why I don't take him just anywhere. Amen. Y'all cut the heat off. Amen. Somebody. Because it's going to get hotter than what it is right now. Read. 15. Then when lust has conceived. When lust has conceived. It bringeth forth hold sin. It, hold it. Hold it. That word. Underline that word conceived. Man don't just do what he do. Amen. He sees something. It enters his mind and gets into his heart. Now he begins to scheme. Yeah. He's like that woman that conceives a baby. He conceives a plan to fulfill that. Come on. Lust. Y'all with me this morning. That's good. That's good. I ain't going to turn no cone on you. Amen. I don't want you going away from me stupid. I want you to see what I see. That I'm God's representative. You're God's representative. And the devil, amen, we number one on the radar. Amen now. On the devil's hit list, amen, pray God. But I want you to know when you got Jesus Christ in you and you love Jesus Christ, amen, you start doing some hitting. Amen. He made us hit men and hit women. Amen. Come out here. Yeah. Amen. Go in that dog's kingdom where the fornicators say, hey, you know that's going to take you to hell, but Jesus loves you. You don't have to live like that. I know you're in bondage. I know you're in bondage, but I know somebody that can deliver you. You'll be saved. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And all you got to do is surrender. Hallelujah. It don't make no difference what, your, what family you were born in. Your mama may have been a drunkard. Your daddy may have been a whole monger, praise God. But listen, brothers, listen, sisters. It don't make no difference what the daddies ate, amen. These children that come to Jesus, they keep maybe set on edge at the beginning. But when they get a hold of Jesus Christ, well, bless his name, they taste and see that the Lord is good. And pray God when we come over here and just live by this book, we become a sweet. Spelling, savor, oh, bless his name. Read. 
Then when lust had conceived, lust it, has conceived it, it bring it forth sin. Notice when a woman conceives a baby, that baby don't stay in there no more than nine months now. Huh? It stays there long enough for the hands to form, the feet to form, the eyes, the ears. And this is one thing that man cannot deny or refute. How in the world can that baby breathe in all of that fluid? Boy, God's a bad man. I think he asked one man, pray God, did you tell me how bones grow in a woman? Praise God, and the woman don't kill a woman. I said, My God, step back, amen, and say, Lord, you know. You know. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> listen, brothers, listen, sisters. We ain't serving a man. We serving God. You may be saying that. That got every breath in his hand. Hold it. That son. Don't go against his commandment. Bro, Roy, Roy, that thing been shining every since he said, let there be light. Yeah. You know he don't like darkness. Because even when the sun go down, he got the mood. Amen. So if all the power go out in your house, go outside, you can see. Amen. And wait a minute, this one blessed me. And then he equipped her. I now understand what David said, oh Lord, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Even when the lights go out in your house, stand right there, stand right there. Don't go nowhere. And then your eyes are adjust. I said, boy, God, y'all say it for me. He's a bad man. Boy, I'm telling you, praise God. And then he talk about me coming over on his side and getting off the course of this world where I was headed and you was headed at one time. Every one of us is headed toward hell at breakneck speed and thought we was having fun. But brother, fun, I kill you. You remember me say, man? God bless his name. The rich man got in trouble. He wouldn't see God unless man, I'm going to make Mary. Huh? I, I believe it was John say, pray God that you that would be there to be rich, you'll fall into many hurtful and harmful lusts, and you pierce yourself through with many sorrows. Thank you, Lord. I put it down on a piece of paper. I thought I was going to miss it, but thank God for the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. I'm not designed to be rich. I just want God to meet my needs. You'll be able to say amen. Huh? Amen. Now, I don't want too much, what, Sister, Sister Lorraine, where I got to worry about somebody snickering me and getting it. As long as I got food and raiment, a roof over my head, amen. God, give me a piece of a car. I didn't say a car, a new car. Give me a piece of a car. I'm happy. Yeah. Ah, but old Spencer say, pray God, you live for me and slip you something. He won't let you ride around on that thing with bald tires. He'll give you a new one. Bless his name. Yeah. Let me get back to the message. We were on the course to destruction. Jesus Christ took us off that course. To stay off that course, Amen. you're going to have to get this in you. Get it off the pace. I want Ephesians 4, 17. Hold it right there. I got 2 Peter 1 out there, right? 2 Peter 1 and verse 3. Son, you get me that verse I just called. Amen. No, no. Ephesians. Read. According as his divine nature. His, divi his divine power. His divine power. Read. Has, God, has given unto us all things that, that pertain, pertain to life, life and, godliness. and godliness. Read. Through the knowledge of him. Through the knowledge of him. That had called us to glory, uh, glory and, and virtue. Read. Whereby now, Pastor, we already read this. I want to read it again to get the connection. Read. Whereby given unto us exceeding great, great and, and precious, precious promises promise. that by these promises we have become partakers of his divine nature. Ephe it Hold it. Ephesians 4 and 17. This I say therefore and testify and in the testify Lord. And testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles. Okay, if it's okay for me to continue to live like I live after I get saved, why is that in my Bible? Now I got a King James Version. And if he was pleased with the way we were walking, he never would have saved us. Amen. Read it. Walk not as other Gentiles walk. Read. In the vanity of their mind. Son, I want, I want Romans 1. Read, son. Having the understanding Having darkened. Having their understanding darkened. Being alienated. Being, hey, y'all know what an alien is. 
You're not of this nation. If you come over here illegally, they call you an illegal alien. Huh? Read. Being alienated from the life of Hold God. It. Alienated from God's life. Because they got death in them. Read. Through the ignorance so that I is want, in them. I want Colossians 3 and verse 1. All right, you stay right there. Read, son. Because of the blindness of their heart. The blindness of what? Their heart. The blindness of their heart. Read. Verse 19. Who be You can't passed. be blind if somebody got, unless somebody got their hand, a blindfold on you. Now, who put that blindfold on? Through that nature. Received from fallen man. Read. That's why, amen, pray the Lord. Oh, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. You got to do something. You got to do something with that nature. Read, son. Who being past feeling past have given. Past feelings. Hold it. Past feelings for God. Nah. I want you to put that on. I'm going to put that on a little imaginary shelf. Past feelings for God. I right, read, son. Have given themselves they over. They did what? Given themselves they over. They gave themselves over. Unto last city. Hold it. They gave them. The devil didn't, didn't come in and bow God and trap them. They gave themselves over. To lasciviousness. See? To work all uncleanness. With greediness. How many of y'all ain't going to tell the truth if I ask for a vote? How y'all, how many of y'all greedy? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm sorry not to ask that, but I want you to answer that in your mind. You know you. Amen. I just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. Can't get enough food. Amen. Just ate. I mean, I just ate. I ain't getting no dessert. My Bible says in Proverbs, if you're a glutton, put a knife to your throat. Amen. Maybe you can scare yourself out of. Lord, have mercy. Read, son. Verse 20. But ye have not so you learned You didn't learn from Christ. If so be that ye have heard him. Read. And have been taught by him. Have been what? Taught by him. And you're being taught by him this morning. So not. Hey, I ain't got sense enough to write no word. I got to teach from what he said. Read. As the truth is in Jesus. The truth is in who? Read it. That ye put off concerning the former Hold it. I said you got to do this. He ain't going to do it for you. Read it that you put off. The former conversation. Your former lifestyle. The old man. The old man. Which is corrupt that according to the old nature. Us. That old nature. Hold it. He's still there in you and he's still here in me. He's lying dormant. Waiting on an opportunity. Because he knows, the old man knows, that the outside influence of Satan, some kind of way is going to come. And when I yield to that influence, the old man going to rise up. Sure enough. Amen. Hallelujah. I said that old man is just laying down, waiting on an opportunity for the right temptation to come. Hallelujah. Pants or dress. Pants or dress. I don't know. But maybe we kind of confused because men wear dresses now too. So I don't know. Hallelujah. They done crossed this thing up. Now you don't know who's who. But even the public got a little enough sense. Amen. You go to a public restroom. How do you know to go into the women's restroom? They got a figurine with a dress on now. You ain't got one, no figurine with half of a dress and half pants. Why bless his name? Y'all still preaching that old condemning gospel. No, you're, 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 the way you live, that spirit in you gonna condemn you. And they man jam your soul to hell and jam hell so tight. Read it. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful, deceitful lust. What? Deceitful the, the lust. The what church? The deceitful lust. Lust does not come to bow God. I just side like I said. How many know what a sidewinder snake is? He never can go forward. He Huh? I can't come against you up front. I got to dress it up. Hallelujah. The old folks had to say, Dr. Brown, all they glitters <laughs> ain't gold. Amen. I had a dream about a few days ago. Amen. And, and I was walking up this hill through a trail. And at the top of that hill was another trail that crossed it like a T. And when I was coming up there, I seen children go by up there. 
And then, but my eye, I seen the children, but my mind's eye caught the center of that thing where that trail meet, and I seen a snake. And when I seen it, I didn't turn and run. I just started backing down. Hey, I don't turn my back on the enemy. No, sir. Amen. Amen. You come. Amen. We're going we go to Fifth City. Amen. And praise God, as I turned Dr. Brown, amen, as I began to walk backwards down the thing, that thing came out. It looked like he got longer and longer, and his head was about big as a basketball. And praise God, when he lunged at me, I took my fist, and I, and then I came out of it. I said, God, I thank you that even in my dreams, amen, I'm a bad man <laughs> through Jesus Christ, amen. I ain't no punk, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A few days ago, and I said, my God, I've been pondering that all of this week. I said, God, I know you're going to give me the interpretation one way or the other. Amen. But boy, I'm telling you, praise God, we have been, we have been given this extreme power to go beyond us and to live, be unnatural men and women. Y'all come on here. But the enemy knows, we read in 2 Peter, that the corruption is in the world through lust. All right, where are we? But not of the world. Therefore, the world ain't got no control over us. So, no, yeah, we obey the law until the laws go against God. All right, now we finna go to jail for what we believe in. Now we gonna put our testimony on the line. Hallelujah. Don't you think for one minute that thing with them Ananias and Sapphira, amen, is over? And don't you think that the, that, that deal with them boys down in, the, in Egypt, amen, in Babylon, don't you think that's over? Amen. Brother God going to allow, uh, amen, prayer persecution amen. to show who is and who ain't. Show sure now. I, I ain't talking about you getting, amen, going through some financial trouble. I'm talking about pure persecution. Amen. I got to get it. Read some. Verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit, spirit. of your mind. Hey, wait a minute. Put off the old man and his former conversation, conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to, to the, the deceitful, deceitful lust. lust. And, and be renewed, renewed in the, in the spirit, spirit of your, of your mind. mind. Ain't that what Romans 12 and 2 said? Don't be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, the mind of Christ. The mind of, you can't make me believe Jesus Christ was scared. You can't make me, I, I tell you what, he did not back down from anybody. Amen. Now, what are you doing backing down? I would say as a Christian, but as a professing saint. Read! Verse 24, and that ye put on the new that man. That you put on the new man. Which after God is after created. After who? After God. After who? He It's created in righteousness. He is what? Created. Hey, look out, that God doing, he going to work again. Right. They got this mess about God doing a new thing. And you can't find that nowhere in the New Testament other than Revelation. Behold, I make all things new. But I'm going to do that when I wipe away all tears. Amen. Well, we still crying, ain't we? So he ain't doing no new thing right now. The, 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 the so-called prophets and these outstanding folks, they get a hold of some new slang and we make it word and we try to find Bible for it. And you notice they never go to the New Testament. I want you to pick up on that now. I want you to pick up on that. They never go and get no verse out of the New Testament because it ain't in there. Amen. Other than 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And that happens when you get saved. Ha! Huh? Read. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is after created. God is created in, in righteousness, righteousness and true holiness. Hold it. Those are the two things that keep that dog from putting his nasty hands on us. He that's born of God keeps himself in that wicked world. I want to touch you, but you're too holy. You're too righteous. Why? Because you're walking in the truth of God's word. You doing what he wouldn't do. I didn't say he couldn't do. He wouldn't do. Jesus said he was a liar, the father of the lie. There's no truth in him. When he tell a lie, he speaks of his own. Well, bless his name. I've got to get it. Boy, I get in these things and I just can't get out. Boy, <laughs> Where you at, son? Give me Romans 1. Hey, everybody looking at me. Now, ain't that good? Ain't that good? That's good now. Amen. Read. Romans 1, verse 21. Read. Verse 21. All right, what we're reading right now 
is where the world is headed. And everybody that's on the course of this world, this is the mindset right here. Read! Romans 1, Romans 1 verse 21. Because Read! that when they knew God. Because they went, uh, give, give me the 18th verse. Romans 1, 18. For the wrath of God for is. the what? The wrath of the God. The wrath of God. Is revealed from is heaven. Is what? Revealed from revealed heaven. Revealed from where? Heaven. Now, I tell y'all, God, I think we got to agree. Me and my wife and my baby girl was looking at this thing that hit up there. I think it's up in them northern states. They call it Tornado Alley in Washington and, amen, up around in that area there. Somebody say Oklahoma. Well, this thing talked about that being there. And where that thing, that was that this thing came through there and it stayed on the ground for 45 minutes and cutting up path and tearing up everything in his path. Whole communities, one community after another level. I say, dear God. Now listen, brothers and sisters. The course of this world is evident because of what's going on all around us. You got the malls going to pot. The mall decay at, that's eating at the fabric of this nation here. Amen. Corrupt political leaders. Corrupt religious leaders. The elements out of control. I was talking to a young man yesterday. I said, dear God, I mean, I've been living here a long time and I have never seen this part of Louisiana go underwater like it did. I say, dear God, he's speaking to us. We just ain't listening. Uh, you God ain't no destroyer. Listen, brothers. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? They wouldn't obey God. And everybody that associate with the world is just like Lot. They chose the world over God. As long as he was with Abraham, he had a good in the neighborhood. But he got him a few things. And when he got his little things, then he said, Hey, look here, Unc. That was my nephew in them car. Look here, Unc. I got I gots to go. I got to go. Amen. Praise the Lord. I asked the saints a while back, Dr. Brown. I said, Do you ever see anywhere in Genesis when it deal with Lot? Do you ever see him praying? Uh-uh. Now, it ain't that he didn't know he needed to pray because his uncle was the example. But you never saw him praying. Hallelujah. And what he got, he didn't get on his own. Abraham gave the lot. God blessed Abraham. Abraham blessed Lot. That's right. And ain't it ironic how God blessed us and then we get our butt on our shoulders and think we can make it on our own? Y'all ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say amen or nothing. I, hey, the truth is the truth of a dog telling. I ain't no dog, but I do feel like barking this morning. Bow, wow, read. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and, and unrighteousness of men read. who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Hold the truth in unrighteousness. They know God is real, but we ain't going to save God. We're going to do our own thing. We're going to be our own ball. We ain't got to an answer to God. Ain't that what that dog, when he told Eve and Adam was standing right there? You'll be a God to yourself. Now, what does that mean to you and me? You ain't got to an answer to nobody. Amen. You call the shots. Wait a minute. Who breathed the breath of life in that man? He was wise, but he was just stupid. Amen. He was wise enough to name all them animals. Huh? But he was just stupid when he go, read, son. 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Read. God had showed it hold unto it, them. Y'all pay real close attention to what he's reading here. For God has showed them, read, for the invisible things. Of him from the of creation God, of the creation, world. He created the world. Look out, evolution. I'm knocking on your door. Read it. Are clearly seen. They're clearly seen. Being understood by being the things. Being understood by the that are that made. are made. Even in his, his eternal, power, eternal power and Godhead. And Godhead. Why? Hold it, hold it. But I'm telling you, when now if you ever go to places where man had not been and touched and corrupted, you'll see God's beauty. Hey, go up and we went into the mountains a while back. Me and my brother-in-law, my family and my brother-in-law family. We went up to Pettigene Mountain. And it's just beautiful up there. Hallelujah. Waterfalls. I said, my God. Amen. Pray everything man can touch, he done corrupted. Read, son. So that they are without excuse. Hold it. Without what? Excuse. Underline that in your Bible because you without an excuse to read. 
21, because that, when they knew God. Because they, they, when they knew God. They glorified him. All that they were aware that God was real, but read. They glorified they him. They glorified him not, not as, as God. God. Neither were they thankful. Thankful, but, but became, became vain. vain. Hey, when you don't glorify God, you're going to glorify something. Amen. Hey, man, now. You get a new car, you go, You want that car, you're going to do whatever it takes to get that car, and when you get it, you're going to shine it. You're going to glorify it, and it, what it is about man that when he gets things, he thinks that gives him status. But brother, if you ain't on God's radar, you ain't got nothing. Why? Because praise God, it may be a brand new, one of the most expensive car, Doc Brown, a Lamborghini. It may be a Lamborghini, but praise God, one of these old days you're going to draw your last breath and you ain't going to drive it to heaven or hell. You'll be saved by Read. But became vain in their God imagination. God may not think so. God knows I'm preaching this morning. Read. And their foolish heart was, was darkened. darkened. Now, 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 what did you read? Huh? About the blindness of their heart? They dark, the heart was dark. Read, read, read. 22, professing themselves to be wise, yeah. they became fools. Read. 23, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God Read. into an image made like to corruptible man, into hold birds. It. And four footed birds and creeping, the beasts and creeping, they hold it, hold it. That word image, underline that in your Bible. Ain't that what the world presents to us? That's how Miss Maybelline got to be where she is. That's how the Botox got to be where, hey, man, huh? everything that they advertise, it's got an image. And when you look at that image, you desire to be like them. Look out, you ladies. If you're kind of big, they always show you somebody that's slim. And why is it that when they show the exercise commercials, they don't show nobody big? Amen. I may be a country bumpkin, but I ain't no fool. When they show these things about beautifying your skin and keeping you looking young, they always show these young gals. <laughs> Listen, folks, keep your money, okay? Keep your money in your pocket. Don't be no fool. Somebody said there's a fool born every day, not in my mama's house. Read, son. 24, wherefore God also gave them up to God, uncleanness. God, God, well, God did what? Up, he uh, gave them up, Roy. Read. To uncleanness to through uncleanness. the lust of through their the own lust heart. Through the what? Lust. Now, what's that word that we've been dealing with this morning? Yeah. He, gave, huh? he gave them up through the lust of the read. Of their own hearts to, to dishonor. dishonor their own bodies read. between themselves. Read. 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie. Oh, God didn't like that. God loved the lesbian. God let I tell you what. We'll see in a little bit. Read. And worshiped and served the creature more, more than the creator. Than the creator. Ain't, that, ain't that the thing today? Pride because you want that man or that woman, and because you're a man, you want a man, you think you entitled. And they got their own churches now, hollering grace, but Titus 2 and 11, grace teach us how to live to deny godliness and worldly lust, and that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. I got to get in a hurry. Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Read. 26. For this cause, God gave them up. There it is again. God affection. did what? God gave them up. Read. For the, even their women did change the natural use Read. into that which is against nature. Read. 27, and likewise also the men. Likewise also the men. Leaving the natural use, the of, natural the woman, use of the woman. Burned in the lust. Burned in their lust. One toward another. One toward another. Men with men. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. Working that which is unseemly. And, and receiving, receiving in themselves, themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat, AIDS, Herpes, Ebola, you name it. God said you want it. Have at it. Hold it. Now, in wrong, and, and amen, I believe it's in Psalms 2. Amen. That last few verses, there you say, He that sits in the heavens shall laugh, and then he'll answer them in his wrath. And then he warned us and said, Kiss the son. Let's see, be angry. You perish from this earth. Well, amen. Now, so the father glorified the son. And said, pray God in John, Jesus said, amen, the father ain't judging nothing. He's committed all judgment unto the son. I won't, he, Colossians 3 verse 1. If ye then be risen in Christ, seek those things which are above. Well, read, daughter. I got to get in her. If ye then be risen with Christ. I got a five minute warning. Read. Above, read. Christ sits on the right hand of God. Read it. Set 
your affection on things above. Set your affections on things above. Not on things of the earth. Read where what? For ye are dead. For you are dead. And your life is here with Christ and God. Hold it. How did you get dead? He had to take you off the course of the world and put you on road, heaven's road. Isaiah 35 and 8 calls it the highway. And you ain't going to get there just looking the part. Oh, uh, yeah. You didn't think I was going to get to you, did you? Amen. Hey, prostitute, well, amen. They have a style now for long dresses. That don't mean you say. That's right. Amen. Now. Hallelujah. That's sure enough. They don't get no difference how long your dress is. The problem is you keeping your dress on. That's right. And your pant is up. Amen. Now. Mighty raw, amen. Praise God, but praise God, this is in time, amen. Praise God, I'm going for the gusto, or gusto whatever gusto, gusto, whatever it is. Read, daughter, for whatever it is. When Christ is, when Christ, who is your life, holy, you appear. are dead, and your life is hid with Christ, with Christ, where well. in, in God. Now, wait a minute. Now, my daddy bigger than everything else, and when you in his hand, ain't nobody bigger to enough, amen, to pluck you out of his hand, but your free will. Moral agent, you can walk out of your own accord. Look out once in Christ and never. When Christ, I'll knock it on your door. Hey. When Christ, who is when your Christ, not if Christ, here. not hold it, not if Christ, church. When Christ, who, who is, is our life, life shall appear, shall appear. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Underline that in your Bible. Then shall ye or we also appear with him in glory. Well, first of all. We can't appear with him in glory until he come get us. Amen. And when he come get us, the scripture teaches us, I ain't going to quote it. I want to, but I ain't got time. But First Thessalonians 4, 16, he's coming for us. And this body, this natural body is going to drop to the ground. Show enough. Corruption can't put on incorruption. Mortality cannot put on immortality. He's got a glorified body that looks just like you and that soul is going to jump out this body racing to meet him in the air and uh, it's going to kiss in midair and brother sister for us down here it's over mm -hmm. amen and praise God I live to that effect I don't know when he's coming but I know he's coming so he got to come soon he got to mm -hmm. it's too much than already right. took place that he told us to look for and it's too much facing us now, in our eyes now, for us to lower the God for some, for some, to lower our God for some or somebody, and then miss Jesus Christ. Well, y'all ain't got to take this. Y'all ain't got to take this. I wish you would, but you ain't got to take this. Hallelujah. If you ain't real, it's time to get real. If there's anything in your life, you need to start pulling off and putting out. Amen now. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. This thing is critical because I'm told in Hebrews 12 to lay aside my sin and any kind of weight that so easily beset me. That word beset means to hold you back. And he got to be talking about holding you back from heaven. He got to because ain't no other place to go for the saints. Don't let that go over your head. Ain't no place else to go for the saints. And this is why I go through the hell I'm going through. Right I want to make heaven. And I'm thanking God that ain't no make no difference what that dog throws at me. The sufferings of this world are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Sometimes I look at me, pray God, I say, God, what's in there? Well, I know you're in there, but. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all of the inward parts of the belly. Lord, what's in there? The old saints say, Lord, search me. Try me. See if there be any wicked way in me. And then lead me in thy way everlasting. In other words, help me to empty up. You show me what's wrong with me, and I'm going to do something about it. I'm waiting on the Lord. They keep on waiting. While the old man take you down to the pit. Father, I thank you for your word. And I glorify and give you praise. I thank you, God, that the word of God is our compass. Our will is to obey you. I pray, God, that you strengthen this congregation. Strengthen the men and women that come here. God, don't let us leave this house 
Amen. Anytime we come, don't let us leave the, the way we came. Show yourself strong on behalf of your people. There ain't no devil bigger than you. There ain't no circumstance bigger than you. And there's nothing that comes against us that you have not already ordained for us to conquer. This is why we praise you. This is why we glorify you as the sons and daughters of God. This is a humble prayer in Jesus' precious name. And every heart said, Amen. Hallelujah.